If you're watching this video, you're probably pretty familiar with the world of AI and how it's starting to be used in photography for things like expanding your images, retouching and getting rid of unwanted objects. But what about editing your images from scratch? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the latest software from Imagine AI, which aims to help you cull, crop and edit your images using your very own style, but in a fraction of the time. What's good everyone, Julian Lalo here, Melbourne-based photographer. And before I get started on this video and dive into the Imagine software, I just wanna state that although this video is sponsored by Imagine, they have asked me to trial their software and give my thoughts on it. These are my own thoughts. I have not been told in any way what to say. And this is me using the software for the very first time and giving you some impressions and how I see it fitting into my own workflow. If you haven't heard of Imagine before, put very basically, it's an AI software that analyzes and learns your editing style, then takes over the editing process while still giving you the ability to tweak your images in Lightroom. Now straight up, you may be thinking, how is this any different to using a Lightroom preset or editing the first image in a batch and then hitting sync? Well, the answer to this is the software uses the power of AI to analyze all the images and takes into consideration things like the starting white balance and exposure that presets or syncing an edit just doesn't take into consideration. So when Imagine first contacted me a couple of months back to trial the software and create this video, the software required you to upload 3000 images edited in your style for them to create a profile. And to be honest with you, for me, this just wasn't realistic. I can imagine it would be relatively easy for a wedding photographer or someone who has had the same editing style for many years and a big catalog of images. But for me personally, my style has evolved or changed a little bit over the past six to 12 months and I really just didn't have that many images to upload. So when I voiced this to the team at Imagine, they said there was something in the pipeline and sure enough, this month, they are releasing the light update to their software. Essentially, all you need to do to create a profile is upload one of your Lightroom presets in the style that you want your profile created and then answer nine questions. These questions are based around exposure and white balance preferences. For my profile, I'm actually using one of my presets called Lifestyle Base. So if any of you wanna try this preset out for yourselves, I will leave a link for you to download it for free in the description. So now that I've uploaded Lifestyle Base and answered these questions, my profile is all set up and it's time to share some of the examples and my thoughts on the Imagine software. Now, although this software is probably perfect for someone who shoots in bulk, like a wedding photographer or an event photographer, I wanted to see how it could fit into my personal workflow. So what I've done, I've decided to create a batch of my travel images shot in different locations and, and in different conditions to see how the AI can work on these different files. In addition, I've used some images from my R5 and some from my drone. So we're working with different raw formats. Now that I've imported some images from my trip to Abu Dhabi and from my trip to Tasmania into Lightroom. I've exported the catalog and then drag and dropped it back into Imagine and let them do the editing. Once the edit is complete, you then have the option to download and open in Lightroom. I personally love this about Imagine. The fact that it integrates Lightroom Classic into the software means that I can complete the editing process and export using my existing workflow. So now let's take a quick look at some of the images that have been exported using the edit from my lifestyle base profile created by Imagine. Now at first glance, 90% of these images, I have to be honest, are probably a little bit overexposed and the tint is slightly to the magenta for my personal liking. This being said, it's a really consistent theme throughout all the images. So to me, what that means is the AI has done a really good job in analyzing each image and giving them all a real consistency right throughout the batch as edit. I would probably put this overexposure down and the shift towards the magenta down to my initial interpretation 
of the nine questions themselves. The way I have selected uh, my preferences is probably the reason for this, but the beauty is I can tweak this in my profile. The profile can be ever evolving. So if I jump back in to the Imagine software, I have the option to tweak it manually or I can tweak all the images and adjust all the images in Lightroom and then re-upload the catalog back into Imagine for the software itself to reanalyze and update my profile. Jumping back into Lightroom and looking at the edit itself, exposure and tint aside, I have to say that these images are pretty much spot on. Besides some minor adjustments that I might make on some individual images, they're pretty much spot on to the way I would edit. And given the diversity of lighting and subject, I think it's really amazing how consistent they are. I mean, I could put any of these on my Instagram profile grid next to each other and the flow would be pretty much perfect. Now, when doing the edit, you may have also seen me click the straighten option. So this has gone through and used AI to straighten and slightly crop all of the images. So just going through and having a look at a few examples here, you can see that it's done a really good job in picking up the horizon line in a few of these images and straightening them. One of the things that takes me a lot of time, even when I do use presets or batch edit using the sync, is going through each image individually and straightening and cropping. So this is again gonna take away a lot of that time investment when editing. Since doing this initial export, I have updated my profile and re-exported the exact same catalog. So I'm gonna share with you now some of the images exported and edited by Imagine while I share my final thoughts and wrap up this video. If being honest, I would definitely look at incorporating Imagine into my workflow on some of my bigger or larger volume photo shoots. For example, when I'm shooting portraits or fashion photography shoots for the BTS videos that I share here on YouTube and for some of my travel photography when I've been away for multiple days or weeks at a time. I feel like it's a no-brainer to use it as a starting point, particularly when my profile is still in its infancy, I guess, and it's still being worked on and still being adjusted with each export. I think it's a much better starting point than using a preset, for example, as it does take into consideration things like I mentioned exposure and white balance. So for those of you that are keen to try Imagine yourselves and see how it fits into your editing workflow, my subscribers can get 1500 free edits by clicking the link down in the description below. With all that said, if you enjoyed the video, help me out with a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and as always, thank you for pressing play.